Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. This video is all about Focus AI installation tutorial. As you know, Focus, Focus, or whatever you call it, there are different pronunciations of it. It's a software that generates AI images. You give prompt to it and it generates images according to what instructions you have given to it. We just have to simply install it into a system so you can use it. So to install it, you have to go to the browser. I'm using Google Chrome, but you can choose any browser of your choice. Once you get to the browser, there you just have to simply search for Focus AI. Also make sure to add three O's in its spelling. You can also find its link in the description below. Once you get this result, you just have to simply click on to it. So this is actually kind of developers behind Focus AI. This is Focus Pro, but here you can see it says Focus, the most advanced AI 2024. So there are different information written regarding it. You can read it so you can get to know more about this platform. So on this website we have this one which says focus image generator. If you give any prompt to it, like if you want to see a man flying in the sky or maybe birds in the sky, you can just simply write it here. And once you click on to generate, it actually does not work here. It will not show you any of the results. You can try it yourself. You just have to give it a prompt. And it will show you some of the images which are not related to what we have given the prompt. You can see these string images. So to use it, what we have to do is that we have to install it. So for that, you have to go to the browser. Again, you have to go with this link. And there you will see this second link, which is by GitHub. We just have to simply click onto it. And after that, this one will open. So this is actually GitHub. If you don't have an account on GitHub, then you first have to create an account. And then you can access to this one. Here we have this download file that we can download and after once it get download we can install it. You can just simply read all about this platform which files will be included when we download it. So there's everything written up here you can see here we have the developers name information and all the files that you can see. So these all files will be downloaded into this pack once we download it. So you can check if something is missing or not and if you were something specifically looking then you can find from these files. Other than that we have these options. You can just simply select different kind of versions or maybe you can see models of it if you want to. But otherwise if you want that general one then you can just simply download it and there are other options as well you can just simply check it. So you can see these images are actually generated by this Focus AI. So someone has given the prompts and it generated these are highly realistic. And once you keep scrolling down, you will start getting more and more information regarding it about its developer, how it works, and everything behind it. And it also says that it is a rethinking of stable diffusion and mid journey. So it works as same like these platforms, so you can also use them. And here's a comparison between mid journey and this focus AI. So you can get to know how it is better than mid journey and which kind of things are working behind it and which are things behind my journey so you can create a comparison and after that you will see these files where you can download it so here we have this link once you click onto it we'll start downloading this file into your system here you can see it just started and on the top you can see once the downloading is done but before downloading anything there are some specifications that are required to download it not every user that uses cpu or maybe system cannot download it because it requires a processing unit behind it and a lot of graphic cards and a processor that could support this one so you just have to read all these information so you will get to know that if your system is eligible or capable of downloading it or not there you will also see some of the codings and you know the linux things that happens behind it if you're a developer then you will understand it very easily but if you're not you just have to simply figure out a few things so you will get to know more about it and here you can see the minimal requirements you just have to read this chart there are different kind of systems available like mac linux windows and other kind of processing units you just have to simply check and check if your system has these options if yes then you can download it and can use it if not then you cannot download because this requires a lot of hard work behind it like a good processor that could support this software and here we have these default models you can read more about these models if you want to kind of do any customization later on you can also do that so this all information is related to when you are downloading it so you can get to know more about this like how this works once it get downloaded it will be in your download files from there you just have to simply extract it because this will be in the form of zip 
once you extract that one after that you just have to install it and then you can just simply use this software in your system so installing and downloading this platform is super easy you just have to go to the browser and you have to search for focus ai with three o's in its spelling then you will get a link of github once the link gets open first you have to make sure that you have an account on github if not then you first create it and then you can access its installation pack once you download it it will be in your downloads and from there you can just simply extract files it will get installed later on you can just simply use and create different ai images with the help of prompts you can even customize this model and can make it according to your choice so i hope you found this video helpful and informative in case if you have not subscribed to the youtube channel then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates also make sure to press the bell icon button so you can get all the notifications regarding new videos and thank you so much for watching the video till the very end it really helps a lot